How's it going everybody? Thanks for tuning in and watching this week's video. Got Justin out here with me today. Um, out here in an area we're kind of familiar with. We actually had to wait for the snow to melt to get up in here. It's about a four or five mile hike and the snow was pretty deep. We had that last snowstorm that really piled on the snow up here. So, But I finally got the first shed glassed up. Flip this camera around, put it in the phone cam for you and let you check it out. All right, guys, there's the shed. It's a long ways away, but we'll make our way over there. Sorry, it's kind of windy today, but can't change that. Hopefully we get into there and find some more. All right, guys, we just got to the top of this ridge. Was gonna glass this bowl. We glassed it for a second and got up to start walking this main ridge up, come around the ridge. As soon as I stepped around this tree, see what I'm seeing over there? That's a big freaking deer shed. It's an older shed, but let's walk up on it. Me and Justin were just sitting here talking about how the deer work this country. Didn't think they was walking right up this ridge, but they evidently used this ridge. Look at that freaking deer shed. Big old turned down beam, crazy freaking eye guards. Look at the cheater he's got going right there. Nice cheater. Broke his G2. Old chalker, but I'm hoping that other side is the one I got glassed up. But I'm going to give this camera to Justin and he'll have video me picking it up. Let's check this bad boy out. Oh man, that is a sweet deer shed. Look at that freaking God. beam. That is crazy. That is a sweet buck. Nice little cheater he's got going. Lots of mass. Probably got average of five inches of mass on every mass measurement. Maybe four and a half there, but it's a stud buck. Hell yeah. All right, guys, it's a work to get up here, but there's that shed. Justin, stand by it. But we'll get over there and pick it up. All right, guys, before we pick this shed up, I'm just sitting here glassing. And I got another shed clear down at the bottom. And... Justin thinks he might see the other side to it. If not, it's looking like the other side to this buck. But either way, got another shed. Looks like it's gonna be a lot of work. We're gonna have to hike all the way down this steep stuff that we worked hard to get up on. So holy fuck, dude! I just found me a shed. <laughs> yeah. Pretty damn sure. Justin just glassed him one up. So let me get out my. There's the one Justin glassed up. Looks like a stud three point. Looks like we're going to definitely have to make our way down there. We'll go ahead and get the one I glassed up in the spot scope for you guys. There's the one I glassed up. Looks like he broke his G2 and his G3. He's got a really big front end. Sweet buck. Hopefully we find some more on our way down. Still got a video of me picking up this one right here next to me. So we'll go ahead and do that. That is a stud buck. Long tines, not much mass, but probably two inch eye guard, probably 19, 20 inch two, maybe 10 inch three, eight inch four, maybe a 26, 27 inch beam. It's a stud buck. Hell yeah, hit the bone zone finally. <laughs> So I just picked up that one, literally just like straight down through here. And I looped around this ridge here, come back, me and Justin were glassing those deer across the canyon, come back up on top, and Justin walked past this bad boy. It's a big buck, sweet buck. Sucks he's old, but we're definitely in the big buck country. Got four sheds that are over 70 inches. Sweet. That's a 
a stud buck. Actually might be the same buck that I picked up earlier in the first shed, just an older year off of him. Kind of a cheap front, but got like a little tripod starting in the front. Sweet buck. That rolls around kind of like old Zombo. Yeah. A little chew marks, but all in all, sweet shed. Quantity over quality today. Go ahead. Just picking up his massive three point. Yeah. My, I'm good at finding three points. <laughs> I find all the time. <laughs> it's a big buck. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I'm happy. Got a lot of character right there. stud. Make it down here this other one. Yeah, yeah, I think that one down there is going to be big. Alright guys, probably the half hour after we picked up Justin's three point, he glassed up another one. He's on his way to go get it right now. I glassed across here. Found this old chalker. Just a oldie. Real old. All pink. Things definitely and stay right there. But that'd be number four for me, and I'm still on my way to go get number five. So it's been a pretty good day. Shed hunting this unit is rough, and there's not a lot of deer out here. So if you're picking up sheds, you're doing something right. All right I'm just sitting down waiting for Justin. Got to my shed that I glassed up. So I'll just go ahead and pick it up because it's pretty chalky. Real chalky. Look at those eye guards though. I think it's freaking sweet. Sucks we didn't find him maybe 20 years ago. <laughs> Pretty old, but that is a sweet buck. Look how chewed he is. It's crazy. I don't know. Should I leave it or take it and put it on a mount? I don't know. I'll think about it, but I'll just sit here and wait for Justin, and then we'll hopefully find some more. All right, just wrapping around here from where I picked up that chalky, chewed up one. And I got another one glassed up across the canyon. We was going to shoot down and think about getting out of here, but might swing over there real quick and pick it up. So we'll video it when we get over there. All right, just walking up on it. Looks like a decent buck. Another chalky one. Pretty sweet. Not a bad buck. Hell yeah, number six is for the day. Hopefully we can get in a couple more on the way out. We better start working our way out of here. It's going to be dark by the time we get back to the truck. Sweet. All right, me and Justin are just sitting here taking a break. Just got done eating a fruit by the foot. From where I picked up that shed, we're sitting right next to where I picked it up. And... I'm just sitting here looking at this bush and there was something white in it. Let me flip this camera around and show you what I see. Yeah. So I'm just sitting there and I can see something white right there. And turns out it's a time. It's probably the other side of the buck I just picked up. But let's pick it up. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, we don't have a beam. What the heck? That's a goofy buck. Definitely the other side, though. Go ahead and pull it out of there. Pretty sweet. Put it together with my other one. There it is. Little set. Set. We got two sets so far. We're thinking it's possible. A little three point Justin picked up might match that four point, but we'll definitely have to see when we get back to the house or the truck. All right, guys, probably about a hundred yards from the truck. Just got to drop down this ravine, follow it down, and we'll be to the truck. Show you all the sheds that we found when we get there. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you guys already haven't, subscribe. Really appreciate every subscriber I get. But let's get to the truck and we'll show you what we got. Well, there is the end of the day. I don't know if this is a set, but if you guys think it's a set, 
go ahead and leave a comment in the comment box below let me know what you think it's got the same bases just different shape of beam different shape of the g2 i don't know you guys let me know there's that four point that justin glassed up that he went and got a little chalky chewed one that decided we ended up keeping maybe practice restoring some antler got this other little set that i picked up that stud looking buck right there it's actually broke that g2 another stud just missing the mass all in all great day all right guys it's the next day i got my butt handed to me but look what justin found <laughs> Day 57, <laughs> like 18 miles, I found this guy. Seen him all the way here. <laughs> it's a cool buck. I think we actually got another shed off of that buck in the past. If not, that's a son of the same buck. I'll throw in a picture of him. And there's all the sheds. I didn't find any of those. It's all Justin, Brady, and Keaton. Look at that cool. I think we got another shed off of that buck. From the year prior or a couple years prior yeah. but brady's set in the middle keaton's stud dinosaur too bad we didn't find that earlier but. thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you on the next one